On this long-awaited day, a political victory for Ukraine eclipsed news from the battlefield. It is a really legendary day for you, for every Ukrainian. Ukrainians unfurled their flag outside of Europe's parliament to mark their official acceptance as a candidate for European Union membership. Unthinkable four months ago, it's another example of how Vladimir Putin's war has transformed the continent. It's the war not only against Ukraine, Russia waged this war also against Europe, against our European values. Saying it marks the beginning of a long journey, the leaders of 27 EU countries indicated the path to full membership will take years, although EU flags are already flying around Kyiv. Meeting the onerous entry conditions will require Ukraine to dramatically improve corrupt institutions and create a fairer justice system. They should be worried because we have proved many times that we are ready to fight and to die for European values. This Ukrainian MP who heads Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee told us candidate status offers hope for after Russian forces have been driven out. I think it will send a good signal for foreign investors who will help to uh, rebuild our economy. But the war continues to tilt in Russia's favor. Ukraine's military released a video of the city of Lysychansk. It shows nightmarish conditions with incoming artillery fire and shells embedded in streets. Moscow is waging a war of attrition against our state, said Ukrainian defense official Hanna Maliar. Russia has suffered heavy losses, but rather than talk about that, its defense ministry decided to show off an armored train it's been using as part of its offensive. Vladimir Putin, while shunned by the West, still gets invited to events hosted by China, where he again lashed out at the United States and Europe, blaming them for creating a global food and financial crisis. Before the war, Ukraine was seen as having too many problems to be a good EU member. But Russia's invasion changed that instantly. President Vladimir Zelensky did not get the fast-track membership he wanted, but candidate status will nonetheless be a huge morale boost. Chris Brown, CBC News, Kyiv.